Hello students. Today we are going to discuss the analysis of trusses. So what is mean by first of all truss trusses? It is the rigid structure composed of number of straight members pin jointed to each other. The trusses are the structure used in the bridges, uh, buildings, transmission towers to support the inclined roof like this. Okay, so a transmission tower, these are the nothing but a trusses or maybe that is support in the railway platform or go downs. So, this analysis of trusses, we will discuss this in this uh, presentation. Okay, so this is a truss. Now, first of all, the different types of trusses. There's so, mainly these trusses are divided into three types, plain truss, rigid truss and simple truss. Now, plain truss, when a member of truss lie essentially in a single plane so that truss is called a plane truss means this complete truss is coplanar lie in a single plane okay so coplanar truss is nothing but a plane truss then next type is rigid truss a truss which does not collapse when loaded is called a rigid truss means if we uh, load or we uh, give the load or we provide the weight on that structure or low truss so that truss does not collapse because of that loading or because of that weight so that is known as a rigid type of truss then simple truss the basic element of a plane truss is then nothing but a triangle if triangles like that triangle uh, are uh, that truss is formed by the triangle so uh, that is known as a simple type of truss okay so these are the types of trusses now classification if we consider that classification so mainly there are the two types of trusses perfect uh, trust and imperfect trust or perfect trust also known as a stable type of trust imperfect trust is unstable trust okay so when we say that it is a perfect trust or stable trust when n is equal to 2j minus r this equation is satisfied means left hand side is equal to right hand side then we can say that it is a perfect trust or imperfect trust when this equation n is not equal to 2j minus r then it is a imperfect trust or unstable trust again when this equation is not satisfied means n is not equal to 2j minus r so it's meaning that maybe this n is greater than this right hand side 2j minus r or maybe less than so again this imperfect or unstable trust is subdivided into deficient trust means here n is less than 2j minus r and redundant or you can say that over stable trust in that n is greater than 2j minus r so these are the classification of trust and only mcqs one type one marks mcqs may be asked in this different types of trusses okay when we say that when this equation is satisfied so which type of truss is uh, that one so such type of mcqs or when the perfect truss we say that is a perfect truss so that dash equation is satisfied so n is as n must be equal to 2j minus r so vice versa these types of mcqs may be asked in this uh, uh, exam now perfect type of trust okay so that is when this the the trust does not collapse under the loading is called a stable trust also a trust which the in which the condition n is equal to 2j minus r is satisfied now this is suppose this type of trust so if we consider hum check karte ki pe this equation is satisfied or not okay so consider and what is that n j and r now here j means number of joint number of joint means this is first joint second joint and third joint then n is equal to number of member this is one member this is second member and this is the third member of a truss and r number of reaction reaction at this support reaction at this support this is a hinge support this is a roller support so at hinge we already know that hinge having the two reaction one horizontal one vertical and roller is having one reaction which is perpendicular to the surface so total reaction for this given trust are three so uh, let's check that n is satisfied is or equal to 2j minus r or not now example j is 3 number of joint okay so that is 1 2 3 
number of members 1 2 3 and reaction 2 plus 1 3 so put that in that equation 2j minus r 2 into 3j and r is 3 so equal to 3 and n is is, is also equal to 3 so here n is equal to 2j minus r so triangular truss is an example of perfect truss so this is a perfect type of truss now imperfect a truss which collapse when loaded is called unstable truss or this equation is not satisfy n is not equal to 2j minus r so it is a imperfect truss so mcqs may be asked on these two points then deficient truss is this a type of imperfect truss a truss in which n is less than 2j minus r is called a deficient truss for example this type of truss is we can consider that here number of joint 1 2 3 4 4 j is equal to 4 number of member 1 2 3 and 4 n is equal to 4 and reaction hinge at this point roller so hinge 2 reaction roller 1 reaction so total reaction r is equal to 3 so now put that in this equation and n is equal to 2j minus r so here that n is 4 and 2j minus r is equal to 5 so n is less than 2j minus r so it is a deficient type of a truss now redundant truss a truss in which n is greater than 2j minus r is called a redundant truss for example this type of truss here number of joints 1 2 3 4 okay then number of members n is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so this is the not a joint overlapping okay this is one member this is second member so this we can't consider as a joint unless an alternate that is given in a problem so the number of uh, members are 6 and number of reaction components are hinge 2 and roller 1 so 3 so here n is greater than this is n n is 6 and 2j minus r is 5 so n is greater than 2j minus r so it is a redundant type of a truss okay now again one type of truss is there that is a cantilever truss so for that cantilever truss one end is fixed and other is free yes i mean support dekha hai cantilever support like this so this type of truss is known as a cantilever type of truss okay now here n is to uh, that uh, to check the stability of this type of truss satisfied that condition n is equal to 2j minus r or not so let that find out the or number of members okay so that is equal to number of joints are equal to 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then number of members are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay and reaction at the support for this consider reaction for the cantilever r is equal to 4 because this uh, uh, this is a jo one joint and this is a one joint so for the fix two reactions are there here two reactions so 2 plus 2 4 r is equal to 4 so for cantilever consider r is equal to 4 okay so put that in that equation so n is 10 2j minus r is also a 10 so it is a perfect type of a truss so this is again one cantilever type of truss one of the type of a truss now analysis of truss means what when a truss is loaded the members are subjected to axial forces means along the axis axial forces means which are along this that axis forces are lies on the axis either tensile force or compressive force the determination of these axial forces in both magnitude as well as direction that is known as a analysis of truss means we magnitude to find out the truss loose force ka and also find out the direction direction means angle we have find out karna hai and also find out what tensile force hai ya fir compressive force hai dono mein se ek force hoga because of loading jab hum load usko dete hai weight provide karte hai to so that is known as the analysis of truss and in the first year engineering syllabus so only that perfect truss is um, included in the syllabus okay
now assumptions made in the analysis so these are very important because again one marks mcqs may be asked uh, on this mc uh, assumptions and also the numericals are depend on this assumptions so let's check that assumptions or let's see that first the joint of a truss are assumed to be pin connected and frictionless so cannot resist moment means these are the joint so this member is this member this member this member like that all these members are connected by the pin okay pin jointed or we can say that hinge joint and that joint is frictionless okay that is the first assumption the truss is loaded at the joint only means loading so this is the weight one and two weight so that is provided only at the joint means this is a one member एक मेंबर है ये तो इस मेंबर के बीच में प्रोवाइड नहीं किया कहाँ पे लोडिंग प्रोवाइड किए वेट प्रोवाइड किया है दैट इज ओनली एट दैट जॉइंट ओके सो दैट इज अगेन वन ऑफ द एजूमशंस मेड इन एनालिसिस ऑफ ट्रस्ट देन ट्रस्ट इज अ परफेक्ट ट्रस्ट दैट इज अगेन आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू दैट दैट इज अर दिस परफेक्ट ट्रस्ट इज इंक्लूडेड इन द यूर सिलेबस देन द मेंबर ऑफ ट्रस्ट आर स्ट्रेट यूनिफॉर्म एंड दे आर two force member means what the member means this is one member second member third member like this all these members are a straight member bent be ek bhi nahi hai all these are the straight members then uniform uniform means what that is made up of a same material okay uh, and also thickness is also same and they are two force member so, okay so two force member means that force Uh, because of this loading are develop on this members of a truss so that force are along the axis and that are may be compressive or may be that tensile force so only two force uh, on that one member so that is known that's why it is known as a two force member ye do hi force hote hai usme दो से ज्यादा नहीं होते एंड दैट इज अलॉन्ग द एक्सिस मतलब जो एक्सिस है यहाँ पे ये दिस इज द अलॉन्ग दैट इज एक्सिस ऑफ दिस मेंबर सो दैट इज नोन एज ए टू फोर्स मेंबर एंड लास्ट वेट ऑफ द मेंबर्स आर निगलेक्टेड ओके दिस वेट ऑफ दिस मेंबर्स आर निगलेक्टेड सो दिस आर द एजूमशन मेड इन एनालिसिस नाउ द मैथड्स ऑफ एनालिसिस सो देर आर डिफरेंट मैथड्स फर्स्ट मैथड ऑफ ज्वाइंट second method of section also known as a method of moment and third is graphical method but for first year engineering syllabus only two methods first two methods method of joint and method of section or moment method is included third method is not included now some points which are very important while solving the numericals so which are reduce the steps so that are very uh important uh, this points are consideration we can say that forces by observation okay kaun se forces kya kaise observe karna hai so reduce the steps of that numerical okay and also mcqs are asked on this observation so first observation two force join means when only two force uh, that uh, in the trust only that joint considered or carry only two forces or two members okay on that joint that is known as a two force joint here in diagram a b and c all this point a b and c or we can say joint carries the only two forces f1 and f2 here f1 f2 at at the c point f1 f2 now what is uh, says that if a joint carries only two forces which are non collinear for equilibrium of joint both forces must be equal to zero now why it is equal to zero now already we uh, see that uh, the condition of equilibrium under two forces so when these two forces when the force to only two forces are acting uh, at a point and these two forces that point is in equilibrium okay so when that point is in equilibrium or joint is in equilibrium when these two forces having the same magnitude अपोजिट इन डायरेक्शन एंड मस्ट बी कोलिनियर मतलब वो दोनों फोर्सेज का मैग्नीट्यूड सेम होना चाहिए डायरेक्शन अपोजिट होनी चाहिए एंड 
वो कोलिनियर होनी चाहिए नाउ हियर इफ यू ऑब्जर्व द जॉइंट ए बी एंड सी ऑल दिस जॉइंट्स ऑल इन दिस जॉइंट्स कैरी दिस टू फोर्सेस विच आर नॉट कोलिनियर मीन्स वॉट टू सेटिस्फाई दैट कंडीशन इक्विलिब्रियम कंडीशन तो ये आइदर एफ वन की डायरेक्शन अगर सपोज यहाँ पे ए जॉइंट पे हमने कंसिडर की लेफ्ट साइड में सो एफ टू राइट साइड में होना चाहिए उसके और कोलिनियर होना चाहिए बट ऐसा नहीं है सो हियर दिस टू फोर्सेस मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो हमें ये दो फोर्सेस हमें डायरेक्टली लिखना है दैट टू फोर्सेस मस्ट बी जीरो दैट इज फर्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन नाउ सेकेंड ऑब्जर्वेशन इफ जॉइंट कैरी ओनली थ्री फोर्सेज एंड out of which if two forces are collinear the third must be equal to zero and two collinear forces must be equal and opposite in direction now if we consider this joint a here this joint b hame kaise consider karna hai out of that three force joint two forces are in collinear ek hi line mein hone chahiye okay and third force to yahan pe jo third force hai assume that is equal to zero and here jo collinear forces hai f1 and f2 are having the same magnitude f1 is equal to f2 similarly b joint here like this joint is type ka joint bhi ho sakta hai three force joint three force joint is type ka bhi ho sakta hai but here observe this line of uh, action of these two forces do teen mein se do jo forces hai that must be collinear wo collinear hi hone chahiye so here f1 is equal to f2 and f3 is equal to 0 similarly for this joint here f2 and f1 are collinear so are equal and third force is equal to 0 now this type of joint suppose here again f2 and f1 are collinear so are equal and f3 is 0 so write down if three force joint if you observe a joint and that is three force joint and out of that two forces are collinear then directly write down that this magnitude of the two forces are equal and third force must be zero so this is the second observation third observation if a joint carries four forces with two pairs of collinear forces plus joint or cross joint the collinear forces must be equal and opposite now here ki third observation is that if the joint having the four forces to so four forces kaun se type ka four uh, four force joint hona chahiye either plus sign means like this or either cross sign like this is type ka agar hai means here out of that two forces out of that four two forces are this f1 and f2 collinear hai here f3 and f4 collinear hai so agar is type ka joint hai in that case f1 f1 is equal to f2 and f3 is equal to f4 hame likhna hai similarly here f1 is equal to f2 and f3 is equal to f4 and here in the last diagram f1 is equal to f2 but here f4 is equal to minus f3 क्योंकि यहाँ पे ये जो है डायरेक्शन ऑफ दैट एफ थ्री इज टूवर्ड्स जो जॉइंट एंड दिस फोर्स एफ फोर इज अवे फ्रॉम द जॉइंट सो हियर एफ फोर इज इक्वल टू माइनस एफ थ्री और एफ थ्री इज इक्वल टू माइनस एफ फोर ओके डायरेक्शन मस्ट बी इक्वल एंड अपोजिट ओके मैग्नीट्यूड इज इक्वल एंड डायरेक्शन इज अपोजिट सो दीज आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन सो ये हमें याद इसलिए रखना है कि we can reduce the steps in the trusses by observing these forces directly agar four force joint hai usme se mujhe f1 mil gaya to f2 directly we can write down the having the same uh, f1 is equal to magnitude is equal to f2 okay ye q likha humne because of this observation number 3 okay isse humne likha hai at the joint similarly agar f4 ka magnitude mujhe mila we can write down directly f is equal to f3 सेम मैग्नीट्यूड होगा अगर ये टेंसाइल फोर्स है ये भी टेंसाइल होगा अगर ये कॉम्प्रेसिव है दैट इज ऑल्सो एफ थ्री इज ऑल्सो कॉम्प्रेसिव फोर्स सो इक्वल इन मैग्नीट्यूड अपोजिट इन डायरेक्शन सो दीज आर द सम ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके